everyone and welcome to Pinecone Cottage Kitchen. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make these beautiful, easy to make tea sandwiches, which are on our Magical Mermaid afternoon tea menu. And before we begin, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. So Caitlin's here with me and we're going to be making these lovely sandwiches. Um, the first one we're going to be doing is which one? The salmon? The pinwheel. We're going to the, start pinwheel. With the pinwheel. Okay. So this is a, um, a little riff on a sushi roll and it's on a lavash roll. Okay, so you start with that and then we lay some hummus. It says roasted red pepper hummus. It's a nice uh, layer of this on the whole thing. And we call this our quote unquote sushi pinwheel with a red pepper hummus. And then there's a little bit of um, edamame on there. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, it's just some pureed edamame with salt and olive oil. A nice layer of this as well. You don't cook it at all, right? It's we just, just blanched the... Just blanch it a little bit. It's blanched. frozen. Yeah, just blanch the edamame. A nice layer of this on top as well. So this is nice for us to serve because um, we do have a lot of vegans and vegetarians. So um, this is a great opportunity for us to make a nice savory that everyone can enjoy. And then for our gluten-free people, we can put it on the gluten-free, um, like a gluten-free, it's like a flatbread, isn't it, that we're, we've been using? And then next we take some cleaned leaves of spinach and lay them on the bottom here. And then on top of that, some shredded carrot. We just lay across. And that's just raw carrots. Yes. Shredded raw carrots. Just lay this on top here. And then as tightly as you can so everything stays in there, roll it up. And then we cut them and then they end up looking like this. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. So it looks kind of like a sushi roll, only it doesn't have any fish in it. So. And then for the salmon one, we just have a piece of white bread and we cut it with our little star cutter here. Make it look like a little starfish. So once we have that, we take some mayo. And we put the mayonnaise in the piping bags, the disposable piping bags, because it's just easier and faster to assemble the sandwiches like that. Um, so then you spread that on there. It just gives the bread a little bit of extra moisture. And, and take a thinly sliced cucumber, put that on there. And it, the cucumber sticks that way too. Yeah. We dry off the cucumbers too so they're not super moist so that our salmon, also in a piping bag, will actually stay on the cucumber. Because otherwise, otherwise it'll, it'll, it just wants to lift right off. And then to make it pretty, you put a little piece of cilantro, cilantro on top. And that gives it a little bit of a kind of a tropical flavor too. We also make this exact same tea sandwich for our um, catering. It's on our catering menu, but we do the cucumber salmon mousse dill sandwich mm -hmm. in that case. But you can make them any shape that you want. And again, if you have gluten-free people, you can just put that on gluten-free bread and you're good to go. And you can also make it without the salmon. If you have uh, vegetarians, you can make it just like a cream cheese. Yeah, just a cream cheese yeah. spread. Um, and then the last one that we have here is just, fun out there. <laughs> it's just our, we have some little mini phyllo shells. And then this is just some goat cheese mixed with these herbs. Which is uh, herbs de Provence, which yes. has lavender in it. So it really pairs nicely with the goat cheese. And that's and just a little clamshell bite. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so those are our three tea savories for our Magical Mermaid afternoon tea menu. They're easy to make. You could actually try to make them at home um, if you're having a little tropical tea party. Or you can come and see us, which would be even better. So until we see you again, thank you so much for joining us. Bye!